All right, moving into a couple news and notes of the day. There was this rampant speculation about C.J. Stroud potentially foregoing the NFL draft to return to school for some massive NIL purse that some said could be in the 10 to $12 million range. Y'all, that was absurd. No chance. Like, hey, I, I, I would love for him to have come back. I'm sure for him, it's probably very frustrating to lose the final two games of your college career. But I can honestly say, as someone that was in attendance, as someone that was part of the, rod, the radio call for the Peach Bowl, his best game ever, given the competition, was against Georgia in that final college football game. He played his freaking heart out played his tail off, gave his team so many chances to be in position to succeed. You cannot possibly consider coming back to school after putting a tape out there like that. Like he ended on a high note. I know not, not the way the team wanted it to be, but as far as the quality of the tape, it's about as good as it gets. Did he miss some throws? Yes, it wasn't flawless, but that was about as good as it gets. I'm so proud of what he's accomplished at Ohio State. I think it's the correct move. I think at the very least, he'll be a top five pick. I think he has a chance to potentially go number one overall, especially when you take everything into consideration. Things he needs to iron out for sure, but as you dive into that final tape, you dive into a few others this year, if he has a great workout, if he runs really well, if he does all those things, he's going to be a very wealthy man. Would have been if he returned to Ohio State either way, but he's going to be extremely wealthy now, a generational wealth given the fact that he's going to be a first-round pick, start the clock on that NFL contract, and hopefully someday down the road he makes more money than he could ever comprehend spending. 